Hello, this is Cheng Nan with China Xinhua News Agency. I'm now in Huanxian County of Northwest China's Gansu Province. Since the year 2018, the local government encouraged college graduates to join the whole process of the sheep breeding and feeding. And nowadays, there are over 600 college students join the whole process of the sheep breeding and feeding. And today, one of the students will take us to know more about the high tax on sheep breeding, like the artificial uh, insemination. Let's take a look. Since 2018, over 600 college students with high tax on sheep breeding and feeding have helped uh, more and more local farmers get rich. And uh, Professor Li Guoji is the manager of the Gansu Qinghuan Sheep Breeder Corporation. And now he will give us the brief introduction of these college students and the high tax on sheep breeding and feeding. Let's take a look. Please give us the brief introduction of this cooperation and uh, the situation of all the college students. Okay. Uh, here our farm uh, named uh, Gaisu Qinghuan uh, Sheep Breeder Cooperation Limited. Uh, our farm is a sheep breed farm. Uh, uh, our uh, responsibility is help the small farmers in the industry increase the potential production potential for their production. Uh, so uh, increase the potential of the meat, so they will uh, increase the income for them. So we are really help for the uh, for the rural revitalization. Uh, it's our responsibility and also our value for the industry. And uh, f f to we are uh, we first then we uh, uh, establish a, uh, we call it technology base. So we are organized three team for this uh, technology base. First team we call the international team. International team the leader is uh, from Australia. We call him is uh, Dr. David Ospreay. He is uh, chairman of the uh, Embro Transfer in uh, Australia and uh, he organized uh, more than 35 uh, uh, foreign experts from uh, Australia, from uh, UK, uh, from uh, French, anywhere, to, our, uh, to work in our farm. And also, we organized a domestic team, we call it domestic technology team. So uh, they are come from National Agricultural uh, Academy and uh, from uh, uh, Northwest Agricultural University and uh, from Huazhong Agricultural University and some guy from uh, uh, Beijing National Agricultural University. They are, they, this uh, domestic team and they transfer some the advanced technology to our farm. The third f uh, team, uh, technology team, we call the local technology team. They are come from the here the city local agricultural academy and also we have a, a team in the county uh, to develop uh, the, the technology to the industry. They organized the local uh, technology team. Their, their responsibility is to transfer more international technology and domestic technology to our local ship industry to help the uh, small farmers to uh, increase their income. So uh, all this process, the human resources is m really critical, most very important. So we are, our county, in the Huanxian County, we organize up more than three, uh, 600 uh, college students to involve our ship industry. And uh, here we have uh, about 32 college students to join our uh, the breeding process and also development, uh, development of our new breed. And also we have a new technology training center 
uh, is we, we get uh, four layers of new building. So in the future, we want to train more and more college students and make them more skillful to, to, to join our uh, uh, ship industry in our county and also try to uh, make them to help our small farmers, help our ship industry more and more to increase their also to help to our economically. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. And now uh, one of the college graduates will take us to uh, to walk into the shed, and we will know more about the high technologies on ship rating. Let's take a look. Now I'm in the sheds. The two sheds will cover about 10,000 sheep. Every day, uh, with the help of the 5G network, uh, Li Guoji and his team, they use uh, a smart robot to feed uh, all the sheep exactly. Let's take a look. Now follow me. Uh, we have walked into this into this smart robot and uh, after loading all the grasses and then this robot will go back to the shed and feed uh, all the sheep exactly. So different sheep needs different nutrition and this smart robot uh, will give uh, 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 analysis uh, of all the sheep and then uh, this robot will select different nutrition to different sheep. Now it's loading. Now follow me, oh, there is a smart robot. Uh, after the scanning of the different area of the ship, this robot will select different grass to the different ship. And now we can see in Oslo's China, the ship rating and the, the uh, ship feeding is more and more smarter than ever before. And now this robot uh, is walking along this shed. And it can select different grass to the different ship. Uh, after the uh, introduction of this 5G uh, smart uh, nutrition system, and now I will introduce uh, a college graduates, Wang Pengtao, to give us the brief uh, introduction of his uh, everyday work here. Let's go. And now I'm in the shed, and this is uh, Mr. Wang Pengtao, uh, who is uh, a college graduate uh, from uh, uh, Hebei province. Hello, Pengtao. Let's give you a brief introduction. 呃,大家好,我叫王鹏涛,我在河北读的大学,学的就是畜牧兽医专业。在现在的姚城,我已经工作两年多了。呃,王鹏涛, uh, uh, is, Wangpengtao, uh, is a college graduate from a university from, uh, uh, Hebei province. And now he has worked here, uh, about, uh, for about two years. 呃,那,那鹏涛,你今天都要做哪些工作? 今天我们要做的就是对牙齿进行一个电子扫描，把我们这个呃电子系统呃完善一下。And now, follow cameras, you can see. Uh, here is the smart device with a cell uh, with a cell phone and a scanner. Uh, and today, Peng Tao and his team, uh, they will scan all the uh, ship. And after scanning, uh, in this cell phone, uh, the different data from the ship. Uh, were gathered uh, into this cell phone. Let's take a look. And now we can see uh, Peng Tao is scanning the ship. Uh, after scanning, the different data were gathered into the cell phone. 
uh, for example, like the like the pregnancy situation and the ship body situation and other different data. And Peng Tao just told me now, uh, in this cell phone, the data of this ship uh, can be gathered, and it's about 56 days for its pregnancy. And we can see other data uh, on this cell phone. Uh那彭涛除了这种日常的扫描工作之外，就是你还会做其他的哪些工作？比如说是呃这个胚胎移植啦、人工受精也会做，也会做这些吗？呃，会的。比如今天除了今天我扫描这个电子系统之外呢，
呃，你自己和你的这个合作社吧。呃，主持人好，嗯，我我是叫秦泽明，然后毕业于咱们二零一三年七月份，毕业咱们甘肃农业大学动物科学专业，也是咱们畜畜牧相关的专业。然后我自己是从二零一八年开始经营了三个合作社，呃，后期我到去年的话，规模已经大，规模已经达到了十九个合作社。嗯，然后我这种合作社是以采采取的是这种凭空户入股加冲击性入股形式建厂，我自己就是呃分红给他们分红，然后我自己经营的这种管理模式。我们现在这十九个合作社总总共带动的凭空户是八百七十六户，涉及的人口是四千人以上。然后我们没有带动就是辐射面以上辐射的技术培训呀，或者种草这一块收购呀，这一块是达到了一万人以上。啊，这是我合作社的基本情况。是啊，呃，那像呃，你在这个未来还有没有什么新的计划和打算，在这个养产业方面？呃，首先是把自己的养产经营好、管理好，其次是嗯，把老百姓的这种种的多余的草，还有产的羊羔，我们回收过来，保证老百姓在任何时候都有羊有地方去交，草有地方去交，保证老百姓的收益，这是第一点。第二点就是希望，呃，咱们把这一块产业全县的这一块养产业、草畜产业这一块，咱们共同去维持、共同做好，合着帮和农户和大家一起发扬才一起赚大钱，这是我的想法。啊，好的，主持人。And then Mr. Qin Zeming just told me that um he was graduate from Gansu Agricultural University as a animal science major in the year 2013. After that. Uh, his team and he uh, have managed about 19 different uh, sheep cooperatives in Huangshan County of Northwest China's Gansu province. Uh, and nowadays, uh, his cooperatives have covered about 870 uh, families. Uh, every family will uh, get a bonus uh, about 1,000 yuan per year as shareholders. Uh, as far as I'm concerned about, uh, last year, uh, there are, uh, last year, uh, the people in Huangshan County have fed about uh, over uh, 3 million sheep. Um, and uh, everyone in this industry uh, have, have gotten about 6,000 yuan last year. And now, uh, Qin Zeming and his team, they do believe that uh, all of the college graduates will help more and more families get rich than ever before. And now I will wrap up our show today. If you like our show, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Keep following for Xinhua for more news and updates. See you next time.